their numbering. Okay. Hello Gators. Today we're going to be doing a lab with an inclined plane and we're going to measure the amount of work that it takes to pull a cart up the inclined plane. Now you should have a worksheet that looks like this. Now what we're going to do is to kind of get acquainted with the equipment that we're going to be using for our lab. You should notice that on your pegboard that you see a lot of numbers next to the peg holes. We're going to start at peg hole number 12. What we're going to take is our double loop and we're going to feed it through the inclined plane like this. And then what we're going to do is to attach it to peg hole number 12. And you might need a buddy to help you with this. Now, once you've got it attached, make sure that it fits on your table and it's not going to fall off. That both the pegboard and the inclined plane are sitting on the table. Now, with the pegboard loop, come over here please. With the pegboard loop, I want you to look very closely at it and see how it's arranged. Notice that the board isn't like up like this. You got to make sure that the board sits down flat just like that and that the back of the metal loop is sitting uh, flat against the pegboard. And you need to do that every time that you um, lift and rearrange the pegboard, okay, or the um, inclined plane. Now, you'll also notice that on your boards that there's lots of markings. You'll see that it says number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. These are the places that you're going to put your meter stick and you're going to measure the distance from that line all the way down to the very edge of your board. Now, for number one, this is where we're going, we're going to use this line for when we have the board at peg hole number 12. So I'm going to put here 12 peg. So for the number one place on our worksheet where it says peg hole height, which is 12, we're going to measure the distance from this line right here. Now, with your meter stick, which I don't see a meter stick, okay? All right, with your meter stick, you're going to use the centimeter side, and you're going to start here and measure all the way down to the very, very edge of the pegboard. And you're going to record it on your sheet right here where it says effort distance. Now, we're measuring that in centimeters. You're going to have to take that measurement in centimeters and convert it into meters. Now, the best way to do that, for example, if I have 25 centimeters, the easiest way to convert that into meters is to remember that at the end of the 25, the decimal point is understood to be right here behind the 5. And to convert it to meters, you're going to hop twice to the left. One, two. We're moving that decimal place two times to the left. So that means that 25 centimeters is equal to 0.25 meters. And you're going to need to convert all of your centimeter measurements for the distances right here in this column. Now, see where it says peg hole 14? You're going to use number two right here, this line to measure for your distance. And I'm going to write right here, 14 peg. So your distance will be measured from this line all the way down to the edge of the board. Okay? So for each of your peg hole heights, you're going to be using a different line to measure the distance. Now, let's talk about measuring force. To begin with, you have two spring scales that are located on your table. Um, one of them should be a 2.5 Newton scale. The highest number on there is 2.5 Newtons. And another scale is going to be a 10 Newton scale. Now, we need to measure the vertical height that it takes to pull your cart straight up. Now, on your sheet, it tells you the vertical distance that we want to lift is very short. We want to lift it uh, 20 centimeters, which is equivalent to 0 0.2 meters. We're just going to lift it like this. So what you're going to do first is to calibrate. I'm going to use the 10 Newton scale for this. 
just to lift it straight up. And we're going to calibrate it vertically uh, by pulling the tab and making sure that the little indicator red line is on the zero, and this one actually is already calibrated. Then we're going to hang the cart from the spring scale, and what we're going to do is just gently lift it up. Okay? And you're going to record the force, which is right here on the spring scale, on your sheet. And the vertical height for this will be 0 0.2 meters, okay, which is 20 centimeters. We're just going to go like this. Now what we're trying to do with this lab is compare how much work it takes to do this versus how much work it takes us to pull the cart up the inclined plane. Okay, so I think now you'll have everything that you need in order to do your lab. If you have any questions, make sure that you ask your teacher. All right, have fun.